All right, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be creating this simple part. We're gonna use this top right corner here as our zero, zero point of origin. We're gonna start by going down 1.5 and over to the left, three inches. I've already got Onshape opened up here. I'm gonna click on Create, Document, label it Practice Part One, and hit OK. You've got your three planes. We're gonna add a new sketch to the front plane. Notice on the left-hand side here, we've got sketch one. I'm gonna turn the eyes off on my other view planes by just simply clicking on the eyeball. I'm then gonna to go to my view box up here in the top right and click on front. There's my point of origin. That's that zero, zero location. And as I said, I'm gonna click on that, click on line, click on that point of origin. As soon as I click, it gives me that dialog box to type in my number. In this case, it's 1.5. I'm going to the left. Again, as soon as I click, it gives me that dialog box. I can type in the length of the line. All right, so what I've done here is drawn this 1.5 and this 3. And then goes up 0.25 to the right 0.75, up 0.5 to the left 0.75 and then up 0.5. So we're creating these four lines. I click, type in the length of the line, move my cursor, I click, type in, type in the length of the line, move my cursor, I click, type in the length of the line, Move my cursor again, I click, length of the line is 0.75, I'm going to go up, click, 0.5, right, you're going to notice on the blueprint that there are no dimensions here. These three lines need to be free drawn, right, I'm going to simply continue my line up, it's flat, and then back down to my point of origin. flat, <clears throat> excuse me, and then back down to my point of origin. I am missing these three dimensions, right? To add those in, I click on dimension up here, click on the line, and click anywhere above it. Again, there's that dialog box. In this case, it's one. And hit enter. I have two more dimensions over here. I need a dimension that goes from this point to this point, straight up at 0.75. I click dimension, click that point, and that point. That's 0.75. My last dimension is my overall height. The dimension goes from the bottom right corner to this top corner here. And that dimension, if I look at my blueprint, is two inches. Enter. So there's my part, right? All my dimensions are in. My last step is to extrude it. I look at my blueprint, the last dimension I have not used yet is 0.25. So this is the front of my object to the back of the object, and that's 0.25. So I hit that green check. I like to do my extrusions from the isometric view. So I'm gonna right click, click on isometric, click on extrude here. Click on your part, and my extrusion again is 0.25. There it is, hit my green check, and there's my part. I'm using my right click to click and drag as I rotate it around to verify that it is correct. 